Ah, Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. Have we bottled the deal? What's going on, my people? Hello, everyone. Welcome to another video. My name is Double A, and this is another Chelsea transfer news daily video for you guys, where I keep you guys up to date with all the latest Chelsea news in the past 24 hours. And uh, ah, my video seems to have become quite premature. You know, I titled it Hakimi, a done deal. It was a question mark. I never said it was completely done. I, I even stressed in the video that I was quite confident. I said that, you know, 90, 95% that it will be done. It doesn't seem to be the case. And this is what happens in football. You know, conflicting reports. Now, it's not confirmed that Hakimi is going to Paris Saint-Germain. However, things have swayed. It doesn't seem like Chelsea are front runners anymore. And I'll be delving into all the details, all the latest reports. I'll be giving you guys all the exclusive, all the latest news onto what is what the hell is going on with the Hikimi stuff. And I'll be giving you guys all the insights. I'll also be speaking about the Sergio Ramos links as well, which are quite interesting. But before I do, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and comment down below your thoughts and opinions on each story that I do speak about. But without further ado, let's get straight into News Daily. And, uh, <laughs> Ashraf Hakimi, Ashraf Hakimi, where do we start from here? Now, according to various Italian publications and various Italian sources and reporters, they're saying that between PSG and Chelsea has now become a war. It's a fight for Ashraf Hakimi. The London club have suggested Ruben Loftus-Cheek by virtue of the situation to Inter Milan. Now, this one seems to be a bit of a nothing story. Um, we know that Loftus-Cheek is going to be returning from his loan spell uh, from Fulham. And he was he has been heavily linked with um, Lazio because, of course, Mauricio Sarri is the new uh, gaffer, the new manager for Lazio. And complete sense as to why those links were occurring between Lazio and Ruben Loftus-Cheek. But this one seems to be a nothing story in regards to Inter Milan. But what is going on with PSG? Why have suddenly Chelsea been backed off? Why are PSG suddenly the front runners for uh, Hakimi? You know, this news of PSG potentially hijacking a deal in the 11th hour. According to RMC Sport journalist Mohamed Bufasi. Now, Mohamed Bufasi is a very reliable French journalist. Um, he's connected to, to a lot of French sources and contacts. He's very, very well glued up and very well connected when it comes to French football. So when it comes to Paris Saint-Germain and their transfer uh, links and transfer-related football news, he's glued up. He's T1 in terms of that because he's very credible and he's very reliable. Now, Mohamed Fassi writes for RMC Sport. He's stating that Paris Saint-Germain could offer, they haven't put the bid in, but they could offer 70 million euros, bonuses included for Ashraf Hakimi. <clears throat> However, he's stating that Chelsea are ready to offer 80 million euros. Chelsea are willing to go all the way and really go for Inter Milan's asking price because Chelsea really want um, Ashraf Hakimi. And it's not even just Chelsea that want him. Tuchel is pushing for the deal. Tuchel really wants Ashraf Hakimi. And if that's the case, we have to do everything we can to get Hakimi. Because I've always said in the past, you have to back your managers. Especially what Tuchel's done, his proven track record, his resume and CV. What he's done in in the space of four months with the squad, the turmoil that we was under, the split dressing room, the mess we were in, in ninth position to guide us to top four, an FA Cup final, becoming champions of Europe, winning the Champions League. You have to back the guy. So... As I've always stressed, if two goals really push with Hakimi, you have to go out there all guns blazing and make sure you secure this deal. Now, Mohamed Fassi, of course, said that PSG are advantage for Hakimi. This is in the past 24 hours. He said this on the radio. As I keep stressing, he didn't say PSG officially bid 70 million euros, but they are considering and they potentially will bid 70 million euros. And Chelsea would then react to that with an 80 million euros bid because they want to close and conclude a deal. The only issue and the only stumbling block, which is why I'm getting a bit concerned with this, is that according to reports, and of course Mohamed Bafasi, um, Hakimi prefers Paris Saint-Germain over Chelsea. Um, there are a number of reasons for this. There are a number of factors for this. I'll be breaking down each factor for you guys as to why Hakimi prefers PSG over Chelsea. Now, just because he prefers Paris Saint-Germain over Chelsea doesn't mean that he doesn't want to move to Chelsea. It, it's nothing to do with that. He's agreed preliminary uh, personal terms with both clubs, with both Paris Saint-Germain and both Chelsea. He's agreed to come to Chelsea and he's agreed to come to Paris Saint-Germain, whoever uh, decides to sign him. It's not a case of, oh, he doesn't want to go to Chelsea at all. He would like to. You know, he, he loves the lure of London. He loves the lure of the Premier League, of course, Chelsea with the poor power, the manager, us being champions of Europe. It makes perfect sense. Now, in that case, why is Hakimi more drawn to Paris Saint-Germain? Now, one is a family. Ashraf Hakimi is, is uh, you know, based on nationalities, Moroccan, and Moroccan is a French-based speaking country, of course, colonised by France, you know, all the politics and history over decades and centuries ago. Morocco is a French speaking country, so of course his family, if they decided to move to Paris, they would settle a lot more easier because, of course, French speaking country, 
they're already learning, they've already got the language in the bag. Of course, you've got some French speaking players within the, the Paris Saint Germain team. You're playing with the likes of Neymar, Mbappe, Paris, etc. And he's actually got some family living in Paris. So, of course, he's naturally drawn to Paris in that regard as well. And on top of that, according to various reports, Paris Saint Germain are offering a lot higher wages compared to Chelsea. Paris Saint Germain are offering £300,000 a week. And Chelsea aren't going to be offering £300,000 a week. And rightly so, by the way, because Hakimi does not deserve £300,000 a week. Is he world class? Yes. Uh, you know, for 22 years of age, of course he's world class. Is he one of the best right wing backs in world football, in European football? Arguably the best? Of course he is. But that does not justify, that does not warrant him earning £300,000 a week in that position. Those type of wages goes to the likes of a Hazard, a Haaland minimum. You don't pay that to a right wing back, despite him being world class. So for me, ludicrous and astronomical wages and if that's the case then Chelsea are going to struggle to compete because Paris Saint-Germain are going to offer all these bonuses they're going to agree a transfer fee of Inter Milan and then they're going to offer £300,000 a week it's going to be difficult to compete not saying Chelsea can't afford those wages because we, we easily can it's just it doesn't make sense because you're breaking your wage structure for a right wing back yes he's world class yes he's a top quality player he will bolster our team and he will slot into our team but you know, you break your way structure for an Erling Haaland. You don't break your way structure for an Ashraf Hakimi. That's the logic I'm, I'm coming at. And listen, as I said, it's not a done deal to PSG. But at the moment, as it stands, PSG are leading the race compared to 24 hours ago. And this is what it proves to me. And it should prove to you guys is football changes very fast. Things change in the space of 24 hours. Yeah, just yesterday, it was almost a done deal for Hakimi to come to Chelsea. 24 hours later, Paris Saint-Germain is suddenly leading the race. Simon Stone, again, English reporter, stated that Chelsea have made a bid in the region of 16 million euros for Ashraf Hakimi with Marcus Alonso as part of the deal. I mentioned that in yesterday's video. That has been confirmed. That is an official bid. Paris Saint-Germain have also made an inquiry for Hakimi. And while Chelsea favourites, this is according to Simon Stone, it is not completely out of the question PSG could return with a higher bid. So basically what I'm concluding from this is the race is not over, but the race is still very long. We thought it was a done deal. It's not the case. This race will take time. It will take days, potentially a couple of weeks. As I stressed yesterday, Inter Milan want to get Hikimi sold by the 30th of June, which is in under two weeks and 11 days time, because of course that marks the end of the tax year, the end of the financial year, the returns. They can of course balance the books. They can receive all the income. They can analyze all the reports and all the balance sheets, etc. So they want to ideally get the Hikimi sale done before the 30th of June in 11 days time. So of course, I reckon it will go all the way down to the wire in terms of that, with PSG and Chelsea creating bidding war. Now, the main question is, we just need to see what happens. I still believe Chelsea will get the deal done. I'm still relatively op optimistic. I'm still relatively confident. But PSG are not going away. PSG, are gonna, they're not going to go down without a fight. So we need to be careful of that. We need to be wary of that. Of course, PSG have got a very good fighting chance. Uh, there's, there's definitely a possibility Hakimi could go to PSG. But I'm still relatively confident that Hakimi will be a Chelsea player. So let's just wait and see what happens on that one. What do you guys think? Leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Now, moving on to the final story. Sergio Ramos, Real Madrid's free agent, is officially confirmed for Pritchard Romano. Yeah, the press conference, of course, after 16 years becoming a Real Madrid legend at Galactico, he's officially leaving Real Madrid, and now he's a free agent. He will be leaving at the end of his contract in, in 10 days' time, and he's free to contact whoever he likes. He's free to go to whatever club he likes. Manchester United interested, Paris Saint-Germain, Manchester City, and Chelsea interested. Now, CFC News page, which is an Instagram page, on, uh, which is, of course, an Instagram page, very reliable. It's got some sources and connections within Chelsea. He gets the early lineup news as well. So he's got some credibility in the bank. He stated that Chelsea considering offering Sergio Ramos a brand new contract. Now, this is interesting because I didn't think that Chelsea would be in for Sergio Ramos. We did the same for Thiago Silva. We've got a lot of centre backs on the card. We've got enough experience. It's not a case. Of it's not a situation or a case where Chelsea need the experience. We don't need the experience. We've got Thiago Silva there. And of course, Sergio Ramos is going to be ludicrous wages so it's honestly a case of you know is it worth it and for me personally it's not yes of course he's world class he was of course one of the best center backs of all time but he's 35 36 we've got to argue silver we've got the experience for me personally i don't think chelsea need a sergio ramos type figure especially with his wages the agent fees uh the bonuses etc i don't think it's worth it personally but what do you guys think leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below um, again, as I've said, Sergio Ramos linked to Chelsea. Chelsea considering offering him a new contract, a year extension. So let's just wait and see what happens with that one. Of course, any updates on Sergio Ramos, you'll be hearing it here on this channel. Any news related to Chelsea, exactly, you'll be hearing it on this channel. Uh, but yeah, that is me wrapping up the news daily. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, hit 
the bell notification and i'll see all of you guys for my next video peace